Hello, this is Fishing in Germany. It's a nice sunny winter day, cold out, but nice out. I would prefer to be out fishing, but unfortunately I'm still waiting on this fishing club to finish with whatever they have to do with the paperwork so I can go fish. So meanwhile, what else to do but make a fishing video? I was watching a video last night um, of someone that bought some vintage reels and giving reviews of them. I thought that's kind of cool, it was interesting, he was opening them up and blah blah blah. Um, when I first got my German fishing license, a friend I go fishing with quite often, he knew someone that was giving away, he was throwing out a bunch of old gear, and he ended up giving it to me because I was still kind of trying to gather more gear. And I mean, it was like a tackle, old tackle box, uh, some old uh, spinning rods with reels, and it was pretty cool. So one of the reels I got, it wasn't on this pole at the time, but is this one here. And this is, it's hard to read, I see. Uh, it's a brand called DAM, D-A-M. And this model is a Quick 228. Um, I've never heard of this brand before. I looked it up just today, and it seems to be a German brand that's still around. Uh, I checked out this particular reel on used websites in Germany and found a few of them going around for around 20 to 30 euro. I'm not not sure of the exact year it's from. I'm still trying to figure that out. I'm actually going to send them an email after I do this video and see if I can figure that little bit of info out just out of curiosity. Um, I saw another model, I think it was like a 218, that said it was made in 1963. Um, overall, when I do a review on something, I like to make sure I've used it quite a bit so I can really give it a good review. Sometimes you get something that seems great, and then after a few weeks, you realize it's a piece of junk. This I've used quite a bit, and it's pretty awesome. I love this reel, actually. It's very solidly made, you know? It's very simple design. I'm not going to open it up, actually, but um, if I've seen similar reels like this, when you open it up, and the, it's very, very simple mechanism in the gears, but you see the gears are also made really solid. And I've had that problem with cheap reels where the, the gears break on me, which results in losing a fish and the, you can just throw the reel away after that. Uh, so this one, yeah, it's built really solid. It's pretty lightweight, it's not that big. Um, one thing I really like about it, first off, you can't manually close the bale. That's maybe the only negative thing about it. Uh, but I've never had any problems just closing it with the by winding it. And, I mean, just the sound, to me, that sounds solid. So that's one thing I just always liked about this reel, just the, the actual sound of it. I've caught some really big bream with this. I've caught quite a few fish with it, never had any problems with it whatsoever. So it's kind of cool. I, I don't know, there's something about the older stuff I really like. I think it's also made a lot better normally. Um, that's it. If, I mean, if I find out some more information, I'll update the video with it in the, in the title or in the, the description as far as what year it's made, etc. Um, but it's kind of cool. I, I've always had an interest, especially in the older gear. And, yeah. Um, I think today, if I still have time before I leave for work, I'll do a couple more reviews. I'm going to do... I've got a lot of stuff in the mail recently from my order on eBay, most of it from China some good, some not so good. So I'll, I'll put quite a few of those in one video and kind of give a review on those. And if I don't hear anything back from this fishing club, this weekend I'm busy, the next weekend I'm going somewhere anyways. I'll go to the Bolstal Sea or to the Rhine River. It's really been too long. So there'll be some on-location footage in the very near future. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.